Today we're gonna to be cooking a very simple but delicious dish called cod stew. I've got some potatoes here, which I got this weekend at the farmer's market from Willowwood. I've gone ahead and washed them. I kept the skins on because it adds a lot of flavor to the dish and a lot of nutrients, but I've gone ahead and cut those in half and washed those. I'm gonna use the first pot uh, from Cook on Clay. It just goes right on the stove. I always start my potatoes in cold water so that I get an even cook. And I'm just gonna put those right in there. So I'm just gonna leave that on high heat, let that get up to a nice boil until they're all cooked about halfway done because they do add them to the stew. So they can finish cooking there, but you wanna give them a head start because everything else goes pretty fast. Little Spanish chorizo. This is kind of a fun product to play with. It is made out of pork. There's no artificial color in here. Every col All the color that you see is coming from a really smoky, slightly spicy paprika from Spain. And then we've got some really beautiful leeks. This is a little Nootka Rose. It's a local varietal garlic here in Whidbey. So once you've got that oil nice and warm, go ahead and add your leeks. Go ahead and add your chorizo. I love this pot. It's got a nice um, tall side to it. Go ahead and add the garlic at this point. Again, you don't want this to burn. You're gonna do like a half a cup-ish. You can't really do this wrong. You can always, you put too much liquid in it, you can always cook it longer, it'll evaporate. The next liquid that we're gonna add is the tomatoes. Oh, I wish you could smell this, it smells really good. And this is all gonna relax and break down on its own, so I didn't bother chopping them. You certainly can, but because this kind of is a stew and is gonna sit here and stew, it'll break down on its own. So we've got the chorizo, the leeks, the local garlic, and now some Riesling and the San Marzano tomatoes in here. I'm gonna bring this to a boil, and I'm just gonna add a little pinch of salt. If you're worried about salting it at this stage, go ahead and wait till the end, but I know this needs a little salt, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we've got our nice little roaring broil here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down. And put the lid on. Now, thank goodness we made a beautiful dish, but even without that, the pot is gorgeous, no? We've let this um, simmer here, stew on the stove, for about 15 minutes, and we're gonna check this. The lid of the pot is absolutely fine to pick up. The sides are gonna be hot because the heat is traveling and maintaining that beautiful even heat, but the lid, you're fine. I've chopped up just a little bit of cilantro, and so I'm gonna add a little bit of that to this. It's mostly for color. If you don't like cilantro, you can use flat leaf parsley, but I really like those Mediterranean flavors with the cilantro. It just kind of gives it another element. You can use other um, fish for this if you want. Cod is just very affordable and easy to find. I've gone ahead and taken all the pin bones out of here. Try to make them as even as possible. And see this piece is a little bit thinner, so I'll add that last. Go ahead and just set those right on top of your dish. Isn't that beautiful? You can see that all that color is coming from the trees. Oh. So I think we're done. Let's check this out. It's beautiful. The fish is done. The stew is a little bit more liquidy, but again, you could take the fish off and reduce this down, but this is kind of fun to eat it like a soup too. So turn that off, I'm gonna lid this back up, and we're ready to go to table. Again, this is one of my favorite parts of cooking on this, besides the fact that it's the even heat and it cooks so well, is that now we're bringing art to table. Your leeks and your tomatoes and your potatoes and your chorizo. 
and your beautiful codfish. And there you go. Little dry rosé is perfect pairing. And now you've cooked on clay. Mm -hmm.